So uh, we knew that there were going to be some some Democratic uh, representatives who were on the fence about whether to vote for impeachment here. Um, can you can you break that down a little bit for us? It was it was appearing in the beginning of the week that there were quite a few. And it does seem that some of them have have bowed to pressure and have voted for impeachment. Do we know who the two people are that have voted against it and perhaps why? So based on uh, the numbers you've given me, yes, uh, two Democrats. Uh, Jeff Andrew is one of them, and he actually uh, is switching parties uh, because he's just in a district uh, that had uh, voted for um, Donald Trump in the last election. Uh, the other one, I believe, Colin Peterson uh, in Minnesota, also a Republican-heavy uh, district. He's not voting for impeachment, but as I said, uh, Van Drew is going to switch parties. Uh, he's actually been the subject of about a, a six-week push by Republicans to get him to change his mind, not only on impeachment, but uh, but even the party that he's in. And that's something the president has touted on his Twitter account uh, in recent days uh, and, and celebrated. But uh, now that uh, we know the president has um, it's much been impeached, uh, been uh, Article 1, abuse of power, and, and that we've crossed the Democrats magic Democrats number of 216 in the House. Uh, it's, it, I really can't stress what a historic moment this is. It's such a rare event. Uh, and uh, many of these lawmakers, the time they took today, you know, eight hours leading up to this vote, is because a lot of them, I suppose, don't expect they'll ever really see this uh, again. Uh, and so taking the time uh, to uh, make a statement, to convey to their constituents, that they took a stand and, and how they feel about this uh, and to really take in this moment in history. But it's also interesting to think about how far uh, we've come because uh, in the spring of 2017, just a few months after Donald Trump was sworn in, Congressman Al Green uh, began sort of a campaign to impeach Trump. Of course, he was laughed at uh, and he was mocked. But he did force uh, up to three uh, votes on the House floor on impeachment. Uh, and uh, there were gaps of time in between each. But with every vote, uh, the number of people who wanted to impeach the president grew. This, of course, uh, also increased after the Mueller report came out and after Robert Mueller testified in the House. Uh, and of course, a year ago, almost a year ago, Congress, uh, freshman Congresswoman Rashida Tlaib from Michigan, uh, just hours after she was sworn in, uh, used an expletive to describe a president in a now very infamous incident uh, and said, we're going to impeach him. Of course, she was also ridiculed, we understand, even reprimanded by Nancy Pelosi. Uh, because up until a few months ago, Nancy Pelosi, the House Speaker, did not think that impeachment should happen. She thought that even with uh, the evidence from the Mueller report, that that just wasn't enough to make the case. And she thought it was a risky move, especially that they were a year out from the federal election.